stand up. Uh, our quartet is going to lead us in a song. Uh, you get to uh, go around and meet the people who are sitting next to you. If you see somebody you don't know, go shake their hand, introduce yourself, let them know you're glad they're here. Take it away. So if you will go ahead now while I'm just talking about stuff that probably, you know, doesn't really matter to you that much, uh, and grab the black folder that's in front of you and give us some information so that we will know that you are here, uh, we would greatly appreciate that. While, while you're doing that, I want to just remind you, if you didn't grab one of these uh, Cypress hearts on your way in this morning, we have people stationed around uh, that they can give you one of these. We would love for you to have one of these so you'll know what's going on. I want to highlight uh, just a few things that are, that are going on uh, here at uh, LCBC. Uh, number one, in just a couple weeks, we will have our church-wide Thanksgiving lunch following our AM service. It's going to be on the 13th of November. Crazy that November will be here on Tuesday, right? Uh, and so uh, you will find in your Cypress heart what each department is asked to uh, bring. But you'll also see over there that we're, we're looking for people to, to buy and cook turkeys and actually have those carved as well. Uh, and so if you'd be willing to, to do that, if you would grab one of those post-it notes off the Thanksgiving dinner uh, post, uh, post, uh, poster board over there, we would greatly appreciate that. You'll also see over there the Learning Center Thanksgiving uh, feast for the families uh, of our Learning Center. They're going to do that. I think the Friday before uh, Thanksgiving in the evening. And so uh, they're asking the church family to help provide the meal uh, for that. And so if you will, again, take a, a, a post-it note off that so that you'll know what to bring and so they'll know what needs to uh, be provided. 
Uh, also, in your Sacro Start, you'll see a little write-up about Operation Christmas Child. We're going to watch a video about that in a little bit. Now, what is Operation Christmas Child? That's that shoebox thing, right? You, you never know what it's called. Uh, it's the shoebox thing. So you have, we actually have a few shoeboxes here already. Uh, there are some that are put together uh, for you if you want to take grab one of those and just shake it and make sure it's the empty one. Uh, you can grab that and you can fill that up. Uh, just a great opportunity for us to be able to share the gospel uh, far and wide. Uh, we're going to watch a video about that during the offering uh, later this, this morning. But if you'll notice, also, I want to make sure I, I make this point. In, your, in the Cypress Park, uh, there's, a, like I said, a write-up about it. And what I, I, I've tried to explain there is that there's some of you that don't know what to get kids, or you can't get out to the store and go get stuff. You don't know what to, to put in a box. Well, um, the Samaritan's Purse, the, the organization that really runs Operation Christmas Child, uh, have done something really neat. You can donate $25, or you can go online and pay $25, and they'll build the box for you. Now, uh, Mr. George Gensler did that last year uh, for s several of you, and he and I had a conversation a couple uh, weeks ago. And I just want to offer to you, if you would like for that to happen again this year, uh, we're going to do it a little bit different instead of giving it to Mr. George. If you will uh, grab you an envelope this morning and do an offering, write Operation Christmas Child or shoeboxes or something on there real big, you can put that money, however much you want to donate towards that, you can put it in the offering plate. And then closer towards the end of our, our, due, our deadline, which is actually November the 13th, uh, I will take uh, all of that money together and I will buy as many boxes as we possibly can. And that will go towards our church goal, which is 150 boxes, which I think is totally easy for us to do, right? And so, again, a great opportunity for you, uh, for us as a church. Also, in the Sacro Start, you'll notice there's a little write-up about uh, nursery volunteers. Uh, you will notice here, I, I grab it so that you can, I can show you. There's this half sheet of paper, uh, and if you would be interested in volunteering to work in the nursery uh, for us, if you will grab one of these, fill that out, you can, uh, somebody actually has already filled one out, it's on the back, and then we'll collect them uh, this morning at the end of the service, lock them away in the office so that no one can steal uh, your identity. Um, don't, don't worry, I'm just joking about that. Uh, uh, so anyway, nursery volunteers, we need those. Uh, also, you will notice that our fall fest is tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to clear all these chairs out of here tonight. And we're going to have games set up around here. Uh, we're going to have cotton candy and popcorn. And we're inviting the community. And so if you know somebody that they don't have anything to do tomorrow night with their kiddos for, for Halloween, uh, we are offering a very safe alternative, a fun time. I like, like I said, lots of snacks and candy. I, like my office, like literally, I have to step over candy to get into my office now. Uh, so thank you all so much for that. Literally, I, I'm, I'm being serious. Uh, so... Thank you for that. But we, we would also love for you to be here to be able to have conversations with people uh, who are uh, who are going to be here and bring their kiddos. Uh, and last, but definitely, definitely not least, the military out. If you want to meet with us Wednesday night, if you would fill that out, tear that off, and put that in the, uh, the offering plate when it comes by, uh, we would greatly appreciate that. Make sure you fill that stuff out in the black folders. And Miss Dana Hodges is going to talk to us very briefly. Oh, that's fine. I'm just that means I'm younger. I'm here. Um, I just want to remind everybody that this afternoon, beginning at 2.30, going to 3.30, is the live chain. We are going to meet up on 16th Street across from Kroger around 2.15, and then everyone lines up at 2.30. This is in the parking lot directly across the street from Kroger. There's an Edward Jones and several other little retail outlets there. Bring a lawn chair, bring an umbrella if the sun comes out and you need to shave yourself. But come prepared to pray. Um, it, it's not a protest, it's not a riot, it's not a march in the streets. It's just stand there and peacefully be, being that light and, and letting our light shine to the community that we value life. Um, I've been told that years and years ago that there were hundreds of people that used to come out for this life chain and used to line up 16th Street all the way down and it turned and went across the bridge there on Adam's bio. Can you imagine how many people that was? I want to see that again because I want our community to know that we value every life in this community. So y'all come on out and join us this afternoon starting at 2.15 and then we will start praying at 2.30. Welcome to worship this morning. We'd like for everyone to stand up with us on this first time, please.